We do have our transport program also that's gonna be operational. So uh, Haitians land in the Florida Keys, their next stop very well may be Martha's Vineyard. <laughs> oh, he lost the nomination, but he's still just a whiny bitch. Uh, there he is. That is uh, Ron DeSantis, governor of Florida, speaking with Dana Lash on her show. Um, I did not want to see her face. Um, speaking about um, deporting Haitian migrants, sending them to Martha's Vineyard. Ha 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 ha. But this is sort of an inroad for us to talk about what the hell is going on in Haiti and actually what Florida's role has been in terms of Haitian migrants who are seeking refuge from an untenable situation there. Um, one thing is that DeSantis has deployed dozens of officers and soldiers, helicopters, drones, sea craft to South Florida to help scour the keys for vessels arriving from the country. Um, and we don't have these graphics, but just pulling them. NBC Miami recently reported that along with the Coast Guard, um, they've stopped 670 vessels carrying over 13,500 uh, migrants from Haiti specifically. Um, and their uh, Coast Guard has repatriated a lot of them, 131. Um, since October 1st, 65 just um, earlier this week, who were found in a boat in the Bahamas. Um, they're just on and on and on. Um, folks are either being repatriated, meaning they're being sent on planes back to Haiti, um, or they're being used in Ron DeSantis's stunts to send them to Martha's Vineyard, to send them to Kamala Harris's residence, to send them to Biden's residence, and other ridiculous things like that. Um, it is really dangerous to turn back vessels. Um, look, a lot of these vessels are being intercepted, but they're not always being, um, you might be lucky to be turned back. Um, often when you turn back vessels, you can doom them to drowning as we've seen off the coast of Greece and in many other countries in Europe, um, this has happened. This is just a recent tragedy of the Adriana. Um, and that is currently what Ron DeSantis wants to see. Just some context ever since, um, Jovenel Moise, who was the president of Haiti, was assassinated in 2021. The country's been thrown into like complete chaos. Um, the current prime minister, Ariel Henry, um, has agreed to resign once a successor is agreed upon. But now there's like just gangs roaming the country. 15,000 people have been displaced from Port-au-Prince, the capital, according to the UN in just a week. The UN said 160,000 people have been have left Port-au-Prince because of the swell in violence. There's armed groups, um, the the banks have been seized, the soccer stadiums, there's been like, uh, they shut down the, the, the um, airport. So, I mean, where are these folks who are being deported even to go? So again, Sharon, we, we stare down and it's not just DeSantis, right? You see Eric Adams do that in New York. We're seeing the cold shoulder being turned on folks who are truly fleeing for their lives. And yet we're relishing in sending them away to Martha's yeah. Vineyard. No empathy or sending them back where a tire is waiting to be burned around them. Right. Uh, anarchy, rape. I mean, you chronicled it. Haiti is in just chaos and violence. And if ever there was a time where someone should be able to seek asylum, uh, this should be it. But when they yeah. look more like me, not necessarily the case, and that's both administrations under a Trump or a Biden. We remember people being rounded up on horseback, the agents were, and it was despicable then. I think they even had whips, it was yep. like a slave catcher type of scenario. But I'll quickly say this about Ron DeSantis, I thought we would get a break from him. He de empathy is not in him, there's something emotional in him that is, frankly, it's a disorder. And I don't know that there's a cure, but I thought we'd get a break from him. It's getting hotter, perhaps he'd be enjoying himself poolside, switching to a pudding pop. But no, <laughs> here he is still trying to do this to us, still talking ugly and laughing at his own jokes. He yes, said. Oh God, the ultimate laughing at his own jokes. And just for context, uh, congressional Republicans actually blocked a, an aid bill to Haiti amid this unrest. They blocked $40 million, drop in the bucket for what they need uh, for security assistance. Um, you're 100% right, this is both a Democrat and a Republican catastrophe and one that's we need far more empathy than the likes of Ron DeSantis. Um, can um, I just say real quick, Frank? Yeah. Wouldn't wouldn't that aid package have made us safer? Wouldn't helping Haiti get over this this despicable patch it's having, this violence, 
Wouldn't that make us safer too? Wouldn't people have reason to perhaps have a little bit of hope? No, but that's the whole point. It's like it's it's exciting to have them turn back and potentially die. It's exciting to have them be without anyone in the middle of Martha's Vineyard. That is, you know, the right relishes in cruelty. And our border policies are cruel, are very cruel. For more political news breakdowns, interviews, stories of activism, and me trying my hardest to care about the occasional big celebrity news story, subscribe to our YouTube channel at youtube.com slash the damage report. And you can ring the bell wherever it is so you don't miss anything.